Happy holidays, baby. It's Black Friday, which means we have a 50% off sale on the HyundaiCompany.com. What's this in my pocket? Oh, potentially the new keys to the E90 M3 because the giveaway for this car starts today. This giveaway begins on Black Friday, so all the orders from Black Friday to Cyber Monday are included in the giveaway, and the giveaway will end on Christmas. So you have from Black Friday to Christmas, every $5 you spend because you want entry on the car, be ready, thehundredcompany.com, Black Friday, 50% off, winner the 90 M3. What could be better? That was dead My even. Still f spinning the goddamn tire. I didn't see it spinning. I didn't see it either. How much is that? It was going. It was spinning every time it hits a bump. How much does that car make? He won't tell us. Oh god! Still <laughs> spinning the tire. I don't know. That's just terrifying. This car spins the tire at eighty at sixty miles an hour. Does it really? Does it spin up? Yeah, it eighty. Five. Does it spin a lot? Yeah, the traction control kicks on and it turns the car off. I don't think so. Okay, come drive this piece of junk. <laughs> Nothing like a good way to start your day off with doing some roll races with a BMW that sounds like a fart box. Nope, I can't say that. People will get too offended. What, dude? Nothing, dude. If it's... Good morning and welcome back to the channel, guys. This is your co-host, Instagram, and I'm following ahead in my white F80 M3. Pretty, pretty close race, but unfortunately for me, TJ has all-wheel drive. I'm only rear-wheel drive. Uh, and up next, we're going to our friend Colton's shop, which uh, we're going to do something secret there. We can't show you, but you will see in an upcoming episode what we're going to check out. Make sure you turn on the post notification so when this content is released, you're able okay. to see what we're going to check out right now. All right, and then, with that little guest intro from Grant, we are visiting a friend shop right now, where yes, there is some secret stuff we are doing here that you'll see later, but I hope you enjoyed us giving Grant a little spank in the G82. To be fair, his car is real drive and spins like crazy, and ours is all-wheel drive and hooks up. That was fun, that was, that was a pretty good race. We're literally just pulling up right now. Grant's angling because he is a lowered boy, and we're not. There's a lot of cool stuff here. I'm very excited to show you guys. Uh, I've seen some stuff online. They have a really cool JDM collection, so I'm very excited to check this out this morning. So here we are at Redline Restoration. This is a restoration shop, but they do some insurance work. They'll repaint your cars. They'll do restoration. They do tons of stuff. I'm gonna link it down below. If you're in the Connecticut area, absolutely come and check it out. They just had an open house today that is over, but they do do events here and it's beautiful. And there's so much to cover in this video. As you can see, like just two RS, you have an Enzo, LaFerrari, SLS, so much cool stuff. But today I really wanna focus on a certain JDM collection. Now the owner of his place, Colton, is a crazy collector, a big enthusiast, and he has a bunch of handful of cars that I'm excited to see, and I was like, I have to show you guys this. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to see all these cars in the same place at the same time. So I'm gonna leave this video kind of raw from this point, and I wanna go through a full tour front to back, and just kind of take this vibe in, everyone. Like, absolutely crazy. I'm not trying to let you guys down. I really want to do all these justice, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna move on through this room. Really cool lobby. They're still building a bar. There's a, a viewing room. There's a lot of construction still going on. There's sim rooms over here. And as we make our way back to this area of the garage, this is where a lot of cars that are going to paint and need to be disassembled are stored, but he also stores his collection of certain cars. Ooh. A 50, really cool to see that. A Fiat with a Type R motor in the back, very cool. But this is what makes me super excited. Now, this is the man himself here. This is Colton. Colton, what's up, guys? What's up? Welcome. So you have a crazy collection, and I want you to kind of take us through. Of course, we yeah. could we could start at the Porsche, or we could start at the R33. But almost, guys, like from here all the way back is like a car that I want to sh I want to show you 
every single one. So Colton, in a 30 second type of, of wrap up, tell us who you are, what this place is, what all this is about. My name's Colton, uh, owner of Redline Restorations. Got a little passion project, JDM Supreme, and this is my tour of my off limits area. You guys are in an area that's like storage, a little bit of projects to be worked on and vehicles for sale. This is always- So things are for sale in here? Yeah, okay. yeah, everything's for sale. So okay, I, I, mean, I feel that. I, I, I'm like that and people hate me for it, but I'm like, hey, I'm a business it's first, go, it's a collector go. second. Yeah, yeah hell know. yeah, okay, I love so, that. So starting with the Porsche here, it is to be RWB. Oh, cool. And so I've you have it already lined up? The only RWB kit outside of Japan mm -hmm is actually right on the, that rack right there. Wow. And it was, Nakai has those kits sent out about a week to two weeks before his arrival. Cool. The kit was shipped out, COVID happened, and oh, wow. transit was shut down. So I'm still here with the kit. I'm waiting for the install, but I'm only gonna wait so much longer before I install it myself. <laughs> As you know, I'm capable oh. of doing it, so. Oh, that's It'll cool. Be, on the Regas? That's yeah, cool. She's on the Regas, so she's got Turbo S brakes in the front. It's got KW variant suspension. Um, is this a, I'm gonna take a stab at the year, don't hate me, because I'm gonna get it wrong. Is this a late 60s or early 70s? It's an 81. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not a Porsche guy, so. But, but no, but you, you are partially correct. Because they look because, very similar. Because this is a backdate kit that I put on the car. So it's a 1981 backdated to look like a 73 RS. Okay. And then from there, you do the RWB and the Royal Fender. So it was to match Nakai's personal car. Okay. So the front bumper that's on the rack and the other parts are one-off parts that were for his car that he replicated for this build. Okay. So everything is carbon Kevlar wow. on this. The front bumper, the fenders, the rear, the duck bill. It's amazing. The doors are steel because I need a little protection. Yeah, seriously. Wow, this is cool. That was close. Oh, wow. But titanium oh, exhaust. Just a yeah, I know, I saw that sticking out. Around. That's rad. Cool. The next car is an R33 Tommy Kyra. And it is I, know, I saw Tommy the badge as we walked in. This was Nissan's aftermarket direct competition with the 400R. So there were roughly 50 to 60 of the Tommy Kyra cars that were built with the kit. And then there was only about, I want to say 10 or 16 R33s this year that had the full R conversion. Wow. So this is one of the 16 cars. So all of the additional parts, as you can see, like it's got yeah. some of the Nismo stuff, mm -hmm. but Tommy Kyra, our front bumper, the side skirts, the rear wing, the rear diffuser, and all the carbon overlays, the tidbits, right. were only to Tommy Kyra. Wow. Now this next car, I know what this is. Yes. This is super cool, a good friend of mine, Chris Forsberg. This, uh, what year championship was this car? So this was the 14, 15, and 16 champ car. Damn. And if he's watching the video, he might call me out and it might be 14 and 15. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know, Chris. something like that, Sorry, something Chris. like that. This has the Titan D8 Titan motor, in it. yes. So I was just with Chris driving for him at SEMA and I was driving his Altima, or no, I was driving the, sorry, everyone roast me for that. The M50, yes. something like that, and it had this yes. motor in it, and I was I'd never driven. That was the first V8 I've ever driven. Yeah. So this has got the two. This has a 250 shot of nitrous oh. on it. He's probably running nitrous on that setup as well. Yeah. That's yeah. badass. Yeah. This is this is really Should. cool. Yeah. Shout out to you, Chris. This is this is sick to see it here. And as I become friends with Chris, it's just cool to kind of see this car sitting here. All right, next up, what do we got? So this is everyone's that's heavy into drifting, childhood legend to them and an icon for a lot of the guys in the industry now. This car was his first, um, their first attempt at creating a drift car. So 2001, this car was seen in a lot of the promotional videos for the Toge videos. It was Midnight Blue. That's cool. And then it went to a bright green. He didn't get the championship in this car, but he was he was also known as the rodeo driver, so he he would drive with one leg outside the door and do wow, drifting. Wow! Yeah, like he was yeah. riding a bull. So can can I ask a favor? Yeah, go right ahead. Can you open that and let me see that? I've heard so I'm really good friends with RJ, yeah. and I've heard so much about when he made that happen. Come on, please answer, please answer, please answer. Yo. Yo, I want to show you something. All right, let's see. I, I was like FaceTime. Oh shit! <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at the hair, bro. Fucking Dude. Look at this. Look at the car I'm with. Oh, 
Oh, because I'm a car. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at Colton's from Red Man Lush Race, and I just saw this. I was like, no way. Um, so this is uh, top secret R33 V Spec GTR. This is one of Smokey's X cars. It's got a Nismo N1 engine in it. The confettis, dude. Yeah. You guys are like TJ, why do you like the confettis so much? The confettis are oh, gangster. Weird. Yeah, these little cigarette oh, right yeah. here. Dude, it smells. You sign the ashtray. It, just, it just smells like Japan in here. Sign the dash. Yeah. It's, it's just got all. Wow, the it's so right. cool. Oh, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say the fact that it's real V spec is, is pretty rad. All right, next up, another S15. Top S15, secret. This is the 04 Champ car. If you played Forza Horizon, this car was one of the unicorn cars in the game. And on the complete other side of the universe was this vehicle. This car is next to no miles and it was built for the D D1 GP SL, the street league. So it's got air conditioning, power oh, steering. All the records it's that said you have to have to be the street league. But when you pop the hood, it's got a like, stitch welded engine bay. Yeah. Like, all the wildness. Yeah, oh, it's a full, full interior on Oh, wow. It. Oh, and yeah. It's, it's got Oh, like, man, that is sick. This car's really nice. got like 10,000 kilometers on it. Yeah, wow. Like, yeah, it, it smells like it only has 10,000 kilometers. It smells brand new in here. This was the 2002 Tokyo Auto Salon, top secret, um, ER34. So Smokey was like, I'm gonna build a four-door GTR, but keep it something that can destroy everything else on the highway. There are gauges from one end of it to the other. This is like some, some like next level Tokyo Auto Salon stuff, but like look at the- Oh, oh, oh my like gosh. Fighter yeah. Jet. Yeah. Summit Racing. <laughs> <laughs> every, every, if it, if it could use a dial, if it could yeah, use a switch. Body. It's got the overfenders, GTR yeah. quarters. Good eye, Grant. Wow. Um, RB20, uh, 28, 28 with yeah. a V cam in it. So wow. she got, she got down and busy. It made roughly 800 horsepower to the tires and he was, it was an RH, RH9 car. So it epic. was like high nines. This is an R30. Ford GTR. This is so cool. Oh, this is um, one you had fun with, right? Yeah, this, this one was seized. So yeah. we've got all the seizure notices. I didn't take them off the car. Well, customs, there. border, immigration, customs enforcement. What? Yeah, it's a, custom, it's, a, it's a constant battle that I deal with with a lot of these cars. So, so can you tell me the story on that? So this car, this car was on its way to the States. Uh -huh. We had plans with it as a race car, because it is a race car. It came into the States and they, they just said, no way. Customs, border protection said, it's not gonna happen. This was a year ago. This car sat in customs for roughly nine or 10 months. Wow. They had finally agreed to release the vehicle under the, the intentions that it was gonna be raced, it was mm -hmm. gonna be driven, it was gonna be brought to various shows. We got it released, we went to Adam's event, we had the stickers on the windshield. This car was BR's pride and joy. This and the R32s, but the other R32 that's out there was a blue mirror car was destroyed, it was mm. wrecked in 2012. Here's the sister car to it, the BR32-4, and this is the BR34. Makes 800 horsepower, and this one is more of closer to a factory setup, but nonetheless, it's the first one with an R34 front end conversion on it. Yeah. This BR was big for their conversion kits. This was their test mule. So they put the kit on it, and they brought it out there as one of the first stateside sponsored vehicles. So wow. Goodyear tire, you know, we're yeah. talking a company that was like established in the States in like the like, early teens. It's like all US. Yeah, yeah, and then it was all US. So oh. went with the flashiest color, the I conversion, the uh, Manape did all the decals on it yeah. over in Japan, all the wild graphics as he did this car, the top secret um, S15s. And Dude, like I four love five this livery. So, oh, it is so dope. So good. When it's outside, it hits. Out there. This is like a... That's epic. Oh, that's, that's cool. Hard. Yeah. This is the Signal Auto R34 GTR. Signal Auto was in the business of breaking records mm -hmm. for the longest time. They were in uh, underground street racing. This was at one point in the top three fastest R34 GTRs over in Japan. The quickest, rather, quarter mile. Yeah. Formula Drift 2007. 2000. Wow, that's so cool, man. That's so OG. Um, and it was also in Fast and the Furious, the second movie, the underground garage scene. Really? Yeah, there's a cameo of like a bunch of a bunch of girls wearing um, blue skirts, uh -huh. leaning over the hood of the car. Anthony, if you can find that clip, put it in there. It's gonna be a tough one to find, I'm sure, skimming through that. If we can find it, <laughs> we'll put it in the video so you guys can see it. This is beautiful. Evo 8, uh, 18,000 miles on it. It's all wow. Yeah. Dandelion yellow. She's uh, it's, it's, it's not dandelion. Lightning, lightning yellow. yellow. Really? Yeah. 
lightning yellow. Wow, that's cool. Looks brand new. You can smell the interior. Give it a check. Yeah, let me yeah, give it a little it. sniff. Smell it Oh, Grant, come here. Oh, oh I, that that's like one of the one things I wish, maybe YouTube, you can figure out a way. It's like the old scratch and sniffs like in the movie theater back in the day. Like you'd like, be like scratch now and you could smell it. It smells, that, that's incredible. I don't know much about this car. I've heard people talk about it. It's a Pajero. I know, I, just, I know, I know, but I, just, I don't know much about it. Oh, they're fucking brick shit houses. They are, you can't, you can't break these things. But you can't take these three or four feet off the ground and they are better mid-flight and landing than they are on the ground. It's a very controlled <laughs> flight. Trust me. Awesome. Oh. So it's like a, how would you describe it's like this a car? Defender 90. It's like one of those short two-door, half hybrid SUV slash pickup truck. Slash Evo. Sort of thing. Slash yeah. Evo. Well, with, a, with like a 3000 GT motor, because it is not what people think. It's not a 4G63, it's uh, yeah. six, a V6. Very cool, very cool. The June Civic, so this was the um, Super Street giveaway car. They had two. They had a drag car and then they had a time attack. The time attack car, sponsored by BF Goodrich. Mm -hmm. I've got the poster inside the, the same room. They actually, both cars were raffled off in the, the late 2000s with Super Street. So it was like the biggest way Super Street became noticed. So this car, a lot of people are like, oh, but it's not right hand drive. June came to the States with um, Tanabe. Oh, okay. Racing products. So they came to the States in the late 90s. June hit the streets and started building these engines. They couldn't get their hands on a Type R, so they picked up this car in Cali. It was just a DX. Mm -hmm. They sent their B18C Type R engine, Type R transmission with custom cut gears, and they built their own version, a USDM version of the Type oh, R. CTR. Now the craziest car here. Probably one of the craziest. Right. Yeah. 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 This Grant was telling me about this a little bit. This is the 22B prototype. So this is the one that started the 22B run. ProDrive had a collaboration with Subaru back in the day. They developed the, the rally car for the road. This car was the only one built in 97, roughly six to seven months before any of the other 22Bs that were built. Even the 00 cars that were built for Nikki Grist, Colin McRae, um, this was one of the three prototypes, but the one that was built six months before the rest. It only has 70 kilometers on it since now. Zero, 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 seven, zero. 70, 70 kilometers, not 70,000, but like so That's 70, like, like 40 like, miles. Like can barely drive it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And it's all the original tires. They're dry rotted. They're hockey pucks. Yeah. Like they're Yeah, hard. but you can't change them. Yeah, you, you can't, can't change, change them. them. No, you can't. You can't. And that brochure, those shots on the bottom were of the car at the Tokyo Auto Salon. That's that actually, that's the book from 97 Tokyo Auto Salon. Wow. Give it a smell. Oh, I can't wait. Give it a smell. Whoa. And the plaque on right above the shifter says 000. Wow, those seats. I got, I got to get a shot of that, boys. I got, don't worry, I got the door against. Holy crap. These seats are insane. I yeah. love that smell. This is a Celica, 76 Celica GT. Six speed, beam swap, ITBs, and it's got an AEM in it. It puts Ooh. out roughly 180 horsepower to the is wheels. It cool? It's it definitely a cool. Mad yeah. Max, like, yeah, it's totally like, no Fs given vibe. That's it. Next to it, very. Makeup Garage Supra, which was built for the Tokyo Auto Salon as well. It's like a full spec build. Um, time attack, Alcon brakes. It's got every single piece of aero, JGTC. I've never seen this aero before. So this is the, the Tamon body kit. Tamon made, you had a JGTC that was like the Castrol Supra style. And then you had the Tamon kit, which was a JGTC style kit as well. Right. It gave you the wheel clearance that you needed to run in the series. This is a very rare kit because it's all carbon fiber, even the fenders, which were- Yeah, you can see it. Is it just molded in here? Yeah, it's molded in. Wow. Well, right in the roof you line, yeah. It, it looks super wild. Super capable. Yeah, like yeah. you can drive this car. It's one of those cars, the faster you go, the better it's pointed. The RX-7, the Falcon RX-7. I've got the new bumper came in. It shipped, it is completely split in half, but I waited four months for it. So I have to make it work. This is Tony Angelo's old car. Mm -hmm. This is Noah's old car. This was bumped in by you. Yeah. And yeah, I fixed some of that carnage. Yeah. All of it. <laughs> so it was beaten. It was hard. Yeah, for those that have not been watching the vlogs for the past four or five years, 
This car might look familiar. One of our friends, Noah, actually purchased this car. I think it was from- From Falcon. Yeah, from Falcon. It was a Falcon display, they kept it, and then Noah bought it. So has the rotary in it, and we drove with this car in our Pro-Am series back when R350 was a piece of junk. I did a lot of learning and tandeming behind this car, and I've actually even hit this car. And back then when Noah had it, it was not this pretty. It was still had the Falcon livery, but I haven't seen it looking this good ever in my life. And it's really cool. I did not expect to see this here. So cool. Shout out to you, Noah, if you ever see this video. Here she is. She looks like a million bucks, dude. Super rad. This is my complete just like. I love this and I wish I could get a view of this oh, all that's together. Right here. This is the better because it's got this, the Rising Sun snowboard. Okay. On look. the side, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Most of the stickers on the car actually apply to what's on the car now. So obviously mm -hmm. Brembo for the brakes, the Olins, it's got a set of Olins coilovers on it. It's got an FP red turbocharger on it. It's got an open wastegate. There's some- It's got a pack of cigarettes in the back. A pack of cigarettes, a case and <laughs> miles in the back. If like, you were to ever sell that, would you only sell it like as, as like a pair together? I think just, it's I think it's only right. Yeah, I, yeah agree. I think it's only right. This is something that I would be super interested in. This is so rad. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Wow. All right. Well, unfortunately, we need to leave if we're gonna catch our flight later this evening. But I want to say, Colton, big thank you. I really appreciate it. Redland Restoration. If you're in the area, the next time he has any open events, be sure to come and check it out. The collection here is beyond anything we could really comprehend. So there's definitely a little bit of overwhelmingness going on right now, but hopefully you guys got to enjoy that. Like I said, I tried to keep it as raw as possible so you can kind of just enjoy it for what it was for us that got the tour here in person. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Oh, in the last minute, really quickly, we'll do like a two minute. Yeah. We forgot about that. I remember it wasn't there. I was like, we gotta go and revisit that. We're okay. late, we gotta go super quick, but this thing. So the first gold super out of the three gold supers that Smokey had built, this is the 3S GTE. This is the GT 300 car top speed. The car that everyone has known as Smokey's mm -hmm. Supra. The one that was seen the most, it had been everywhere from 200 to 200 plus miles an hour. We're going through a phase two with it, so I have to get all of the injectors replaced, coil packs, and we're going to do 200 mile an hour in this car once again. That will be cool. Yes. That will be a Very really sick. cool thing to see that so you guys So we're excited, you guys hopefully we can get them to the States and uh, we'll do it on the salt flats. Not, yeah. No public roads. Yeah, this no, salt done flats. In <laughs> this is wow, that's real deal. really cool. That cluster is nothing I've ever seen. Wow. Very cool. Okay, we're gonna end it off with a banger. It's time for us to get to the airport. All right, BMW brother. See you in like two weeks, probably. I'm gonna see you again, like in another two weeks, and then and yeah. then in another two weeks. All right, audio slower, BMW. <laughs> nice to see you. Hey, I'm going to that deli without you. All right, well, I'm going to the JFK airport and getting a sandwich there. Oh, it sounds really good, dude. <laughs> Bye. All right, we have an hour and thirty minute drive to the airport. This is gonna be our last drive in the M4 and we're gonna be dropping her off because we are gonna be shipping this back home. We're not driving this back home. Some of you might have thought, hey, we probably were, uh, like the Corvette. We're not. Sorry, boys. We have Thanksgiving coming up and I wanna be home with family and all that type of stuff. So we're gonna drop this back off at the airport and the boys from BMW are gonna pick it up, put it back at the dealership and then it's gonna be picked up and shipped home the next following day. All right, we're about to board the flight. <laughs> Anthony just said something. I want him to say it on camera. Say it again. He goes, oh, what's your phone percentage at? I'm like 23. He's like, you have a charger? I'm like, no. Every flight that I've been on, other than one, has like fucking UK outlets that like aren't the normal ones that I plug in every day. It's they're different. What? Yeah. We're gonna get on this plane, and you're gonna try and plug your thing in, and you'll be like, oh, fuck, that doesn't fit. I'm about to teach you something. I am gonna teach you something. What, what and is that? You're gonna feel dumb? Yes. Alright. So Anthony claims this is a UK plug-in. There's plug -in. absolutely no way that works. No. No way, dude. It's just a normal plug. That okay. how do you not know that? You never tried? Dude, I was you trying never to, tried? No, I was trying to edit a vlog one time on a flight and my 
laptop was dead, and I'd go to plug oh. it in, and I'm like, oh, well, fuck, sick. It's just a normal plug, it just looks weird. Dude. If anything works. Yeah, okay. We're uh, an hour delayed, and we have a six hour flight, so let's enjoy this. Well, it's the next morning. I'm at the Hunt & Co shop, and I just kinda wanted to film this little outro here because last night I was so exhausted, physically and mentally exhausted, that I never filmed an outro, but, the trip is over, the BMW M4 is gonna get shipped back here within the next week. So we're gonna have that very soon, we're gonna crack right into it. Man, the response from you guys on the M4 has been through the roof, and I'm excited. I'm seeing a lot of people requesting Street Hunter parts, I'm seeing a lot of people requesting something different. All I will say is, I'm going after something that's never been done before on this car, I don't wanna say too much, I don't know if I'm gonna make it possible, but I am planning for something great and I cannot wait to showcase it with you guys. And I wanna give you a little reminder while we're in Hunt Co that we have a Black Friday sale starting on Black Friday with the store being 50% off. So mark your calendars, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to Monday, big sale. And everyone who ordered an R34 t-shirt, we are packing them up as fast as we can, ship them out. There were a lot of orders. So thank you guys so much for supporting and watching the vlogs and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and keep moving forward.